Well, Happy New Year, all hitting the post for 2024. Listen, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Outdoors, a wicked, wicked pocket fixed blade by Carnivora. Now, this is called the Shroominator. I have two of them. It's going to come in four handle sizes, from a small woman's hand to Jason Dixon's hillbilly Sasquatch mitts. That's a direct quote from Don Moore Kramer, and you don't want to miss that. Here's the way I decided to do this. Have some damn fun. It's 2024. Now, when I started this, what that is is a beach mat wrapped in a towel, wrapped in about two pounds of duct tape. When I started using this thing, it was a joke. Not, not, not making fun of, but just playing around with it, that kind of thing. The more that I've used this little mat, there you go, Scab. The more I've used this little mat, the more and more I can see, it kind of helps with the demonstration. I have two knives. They are called the Shroominator. It was designed by Tammy Roush. It was made by Elmer Roush III. Now, that name is familiar. His dad designed, I believe it was the Friar uh, Tomahawk for CRKT, or actually Axe. I have one. It's badass. These are the Shroominators, a tag team effort by a wife and husband that I absolutely adore. When I got them in, there's certain knives that it's just like, okay, how are we going to do this? Are we, are, how are we going to approach it, right? Because you can see these are weapons. Most knives are, but if you watch the channel, you know what I'm talking about. We're talking in terms of testing, right? Can't go out and stab anybody. They, they kind of frown on that. But what we can do is look at the utility uh, prospects of it, you look at the toughness of it, look at the sharpness of it. Because there's going to be four different sizes of basically the same handle and blade shape, what I wanted to do is bring both of them to you. The smaller iteration has the purple G10 handles with its, its dual color. I think it's purple and black, uh, that kind of thing. The larger iteration is just solid purple. They're both made from G10 handle scales, 1095 steel. There's a little scab doing what I, I thought I meant that, that out. I didn't. We're going to do kind of a chest lever pull here just to kind of see. Again, if it was me, I would get me a good Kydex sheath with an ulti clip and stick it in my front pocket. This is a do-all, do-anything, small to medium task knife. It just is, and I'm going to be honest with you, the more that I used it, the more that I love it. So much so, I'm probably going to buy one when they come out. Now, they're sold through Carnivora. I will link uh, their website in the description. Guys, listen, if you go to their website and you don't see something, email them. Don and Mama Kramer and that whole group over there are excellent about emailing and contacting you. Also, they watch and read the comments. So if you've got a question, put it in there. And Don, I don't normally ask you to do this, but I'm going to ask you to on this one, just comment where I can pin it, where people can reach out to you. Also, uh, Elmer and Miss Tammy, if you guys would comment. So if, if people want direct access to you, we can get that. Guys, there's some major, major changes coming to Carnivora in 2024. I'm excited about it. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. And when that time comes... We'll announce that and take care of that. Here's the deal. When I look at a pocket fix blade, I need something that's tough, but I need it to be sharp, and I need it to be kind of a catch-all. I don't need it to do one thing incredibly well. I need it to do a lot of things pretty damn well. This knife encapsulates that. For me personally, personally, I like the larger version a little better. The smaller version surprised me. This version surprised me how well, how well it actually handled. Now, there's a couple of nuances to this blade that I want to talk about. If you look at the blade shape, it almost looks like a bird beak. And you've got a little jimping there. And at first I thought, man, that's going to be aggressive. But here in a minute, I believe in a minute, I'll show you where I'm pushing my thumb into it as hard as I can. It is not aggressive, it feels very comfortable, and it really adds uh, to the control of this knife. Now, 
I don't know which one this one is, which one is that one. Well, that was good. I covered up the handle. We're going to do the Donnie B all day drop test, throw it at the stump test. I'm going to show you the balance point on both blades. Both blades come with a really nice pommel. If you need to crack walnuts, heads, whatever you need to do with it, you can do with it. It juts out a little bit, and it's just a good back-me-up, if you know what I'm saying. If you know how to use a pommel like that correctly, if you're in a dangerous situation, you can back somebody off of you pretty quick. Non-lethal type thing there. It comes with a nice uh, lanyard hole. The handle, here's the balance point. The handle is insanely comfortable. It's almost... When I spin it upside down in that stabbing grip, not the hammer grip, but the stabbing grip, my pinky locks right into that guard right there, and it is absolutely incredible. You see the guard right there, right there where my, my pointer finger went, my pinky locks in there, and it did an amazing, amazing job. Now, which one do I prefer? I, I said the large one. And I like the large one a little better. It gives me a little bit more handle room. Let me, let me give you the sizes that I have. And again, there's going to be two more handle sizes coming. But first, the overall length on the small one. Now, the small one weighs 6.7 ounces. Uh, these came directly to me uh, before sheaths were made. So I didn't have anything to show you. Carnivora, I believe, will do you a custom sheath or we can have you one made. And guys, when I say we... I just, I do a lot of reviews for Carnivora. Uh, Don and I are friends, brothers, and I'm that way with a lot of the designers. I throw myself in there, but I in no way work for them. I want you to understand that. I do a lot of testing for them because I enjoy the wilder, crazier stuff. So on the smaller version, we have an overall length. Now this is from point to the end of the pommel, which is seven and a half inches. The blade, is three and three eighths inches with about three and an eighth cutting edge. The steel, the thickness here, let me let me try to pull this up. Try to give you a good look at it. Well, it looks like it's three sixteenths blade stock. I believe that's what it is on both. That is the small one. The inner grip on the small one is right at three and a quarter. But now here's the deal. That pommel actually makes it really, really easy to put your whole, your finger, your pinky can rest on the bottom. But again, if that's a little too small for you, there's going to be four sizes. That's the beauty of this. I love that concept. Let's move on to the large one. The large one weighs 7.4 ounces. So you can see they've got a little weight to them. I like a little pop right there. They were, this is that steel belted sandblast hose. The newer sandblast hose I've been using is simply reinforced, but this is that old school steel belted stuff. And the knife, neither knife had any problem. I was very, very impressed. That is some tough shit to cut. I'm just gonna be real honest with you. Yep, see right there, good job, Scab. Way to show it on cue. Okay, so the bigger one is seven, I want to say seven and seven eighths, and that is, or no, I'm sorry, eight and a quarter. That's from tip to the edge of pommel, eight and a quarter, with a blade length of three, three and three quarters, and a cutting edge of about three and three eighths. So a little bit bigger there again, three sixteenths blade stock. That's the solid purple G10. Again, you don't have, now I will say this, there is a difference on the handle with the big and the small or the larger iteration and the small. The smaller has a guard with a little indention where your finger rests. The bigger one has a nice guard, but again, if I turn it upside down, my pinky rests in it very, very well. My thumb flattens out against that pommel, very comfortable. So I can take a reverse grip fighting stance because you know that's the way all YouTube knife fighters fight with with the knife with the edge out. That way when the cops find you stabbed to death, they'll be like, well, that guy knew what he was doing. He watched a lot of YouTube. Guys, overall, would I carry this knife? And if I'm gonna be honest, and I have to be honest, I have to say yes. I would absolutely carry this knife. I wanna carry this knife. 
And, and, and I'm basing that, I'm going to be honest with you, on use. After running these things through its paces, after doing some different shit and just playing with it, yes, it does everything. It cuts, it stabs, it's tough, it's durable, it's comfortable, it takes a beating and it keeps on. I am a big fan. It is called the Shroominator. Um, Don, Tammy, uh, Elmer, if you'll comment so people can get a hold of you. Again, I will put a link in the description to Carnivore. Real quick, guys, we got about two minutes left. Freedom Frog Gear, Frog Frog, is an awesome guy and a huge part of this community. His stepfather is having aorta surgery this week. I would ask that you would go over to Frog's page and just leave some encouraging words so that his stepdad can, re can read them. He said his dad's been reading some of those, and it's really been encouraging. And that, that's a scary thing, dude. That's a scary thing. And, Frog, we just want you to know, man, we love you. We're praying for you, your dad, your mom, and your entire family. You're in our thoughts. You're in our prayers. I actually love Frog. He says what he feels, and he feels what he says. And he's a good, good dude and member of this community. If you'd do that, I'd appreciate you. Finally, guys, we have to do this part. There was a time in this country where 22 bets a day took their own lives. We're coming out of the holiday. That number's higher. It's actually between 29 and 35 this time of year. That's insane. That's why here on this channel, we focus on the number zero. Anything over zero is simply unacceptable. Bets, we love you. You have a place here. That's all that means. You're welcome here. I back the blue. My kid's a cop, but I did before that. It's just something personal. I just had somebody comment that same stupid statement. It's back to blue till it happens. I know that shit. It's happened to me more than it's happened to you. This is a personal choice that I believe in, and I wouldn't force on anybody's throat. It's cost me friendships. It's cost me relationships, and that's okay. I don't blow with the wind. I don't bend or break with the wind. I'm going to hold to what I believe in, and I'll support you in whatever you believe in, even if you don't believe what I do. Finally, if you are an addict, and this is very, very, very important, never quit quitting. It'll take one time. Trust me, I know, because I am one. Guys, there's Megatron in the background. That's a good woman right there, son. She's cooking old Scabbard a lemon cake. I need that about like I need a hole in the head, but it's going to be good, and I'm going to use my shroominator to cut it. Elmer, Tammy, Don, great job. Love y'all. Hey, I'm scab, you're not, and I'm gone.